Hello everybody. Welcome to Stuffed Up Garage. Today let us make this beautiful Christmas card. Ready? Let's get started with the materials I am going to use to make this card. So I have two card stocks and I have my vinyl and the transfer tape. Okay, here we are in my Cricut design space and I searched for Holy Night Christmas and it fetched me all these cards. I plan on using this first one that is there listed below and before I start working on that I want to make sure that my canvas is ready so it's an untitled project with no objects in it so it is all good so go back to home and I'm going to click on this project and I'm going to do an edit a copy so here the card is loaded on the canvas first thing that I prefer to do will be to read the various layers and understand how the card is structured so that helps me to understand what are the tools and the materials that I will have to use for the card so when I look at so this is a group so here there are like two different groups so the first one is the card front which has two portions to it well, first one is the square cut card and the second one is the pattern that goes on top of it so and each of these sections when I read it so this one it says it's a basic cut and this one is also a basic cut so what I'm going to do is I will use a card stock in order to make this section and for this portion of the card I plan on using a vinyl so that it is easier for me and also it gives a cleaner pattern on the card so the next section I have here is is this one which is the main card so here it talks about this message that is written so which is using a pen which is the operation to write and the next one is a line which is where I'm going to use my scoring tool and the last one is to cut this card so it's going to be a card stock and I am going to use the brighter color of the two for making this card and uh, so now I know what are the different components and what are the materials I should be providing for each of the cutting operations. So let's make it. Here, I have my Cricut all set up. So I have my Cricut machine, uh, which is a maker and uh, my Cricut is plugged in into my laptop and then I have my cutting tool inserted here and then I have my scoring stylus and then I have these two mats the standard grip and the light grip so the light grip I will use for my cardstock and then the standard grip I'm going to use for the vinyl. Okay, switching the focus back on my laptop, I'm going to make this card now. So I'm going to create select on mat and confirm. And the 
first one it's going to be the base card so I have the material size so I'm going I usually use the smaller card size which is of letter or A4 so I'm going to change the material size to a letter so it realigned the positioning of the card based on the size that I selected and when I click on continue so my maker is connected so I am going to use a medium card stock which is a bit thicker for the base card so this is my material and here it's asking me for a pin and a scoring wheel I do not have a scoring wheel so I'm going to edit the tools and I'm going to select a scoring stylus and click on apply so now it has changed a saying the sc scoring stylus in clamp A and fine point blade in clamp B and it also says there is a coming up gold metallic pen okay and the next is I need to load my cardstock on my Cricut and then I have to press go I have my cutting tools set up for the first cut so I have my cardstock on this light grip mat and I have my scoring stylus and the cutting blade in scoring stylus is in clamp A and the cutting blade is in clamp B and I have my pen ready so that I can switch from the scoring stylus to the pen as needed so I'm going to load this mat into the Cricut and I'm going to press go now the scoring is completed so in my laptop it shows me that I will have to load the pen so I'm going to switch the pen now now again I'm going to press go my base card is ready now my base card is ready so let's move on to the next card so for this one all I need is my cutting blade and I have the lighter cardstock on the light grip mat 
and I'm going to just insert it and once it is ready click go It's done. So now we have completed the second cut operation. So we have the base card here, and then we have the layer of card that goes on top of this. Now let us cut the pattern with the vinyl. Before I load the vinyl on the mat, I'm going to cut a small piece which is of the size very much similar to the cardstock that I cut for the front portion. Here I have my vinyl on my standard grip and uh, I have cut the vinyl to be like slightly bigger than my cardstock so that um, the pattern comes clearly within the vinyl and I don't have any issues and uh, and my computer so what I did is to change the base material so here go here and then originally I started the car I selected the cardstock so now I switched the base material to vinyl and um, yeah and the tool to be used is going to still be the same fine point blade and um, I'm going to load this vinyl and press go
okay so now it's done cutting okay so while i was reading i did cut this uh, transfer paper almost to the same size as this liner so what we are going to do is to first we read this out and then using the transfer paper i'm going to transfer this pattern on this cardstock that we originally cut I'm done with all the cut operations on the Cricut so this project is all completed all the layers are ready uh, so we can start putting them together now I'm going to start reading this uh, so that we get the pattern clearly visible on the vinyl Okay, now it is all weeded and uh, the pattern is clearly visible. So now using the transfer tape, uh, we will move it to the card. Now I have my transfer paper and I'm going to place this right on top of my vinyl. Here it is.
now I have this transferred from my vinyl sheet to my transfer paper so now let us get this to the cardstock Now pull the transfer paper and slowly making sure that the vinyl is stuck to the cardstock. There it is. Okay, so now we have the cardstock with the vinyl on it. Now we get this base card, and all I have to do is to glue this together. So our card is ready. okay here we are so our beautiful card for christmas is ready so it's it's so pretty and i'm glad um family and friends are very happy to see christmas cards and when it is a handmade and it has a personal touch on it it makes more value and uh, thank you so much for watching hello everyone thank you for watching stop the garage here is the card that we made isn't it beautiful Thank you.